Okay, you like that better? Give him the okay. boot. <laughs> Well, how you doing there? <laughs> Hi, I'm not you. How are you? Fine. Hello, are you dead? <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm not you. How are you? Fine. All right, all right. I like that. That's better. That's better. Yeah, yeah. Well, Matthew and I, uh, we're going to talk about something real spiritual this morning. Right? Yep. What is your favorite flavor, Matthew? My favorite flavor. Chocolate. <laughs> oh, chocolate is your favorite flavor. Yeah. Not vanilla, not vanilla. Chocolate! I like chocolate cake, chocolate shakes, chocolate ice cream, chocolate eclairs, chocolate uh, brownies with almonds, like down in the fellowship hall. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate colored raisin. Okay, okay, I got the idea. So it's safe to say that, that you like chocolate. No, no, I don't like chocolate. I love chocolate. <laughs> All right, well, what's your favorite drink? Chocolate milk? Chocolate milk. Yeah, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. I love chocolate. <laughs> All right, well. So you buy chocolate milk at the store, right? Yep, I buy chocolate milk at the store. And sometimes my little brother likes to drink my chocolate milk, and then I get a surprise, I open up the refrigerator, and the chocolate milk is gone, and there's an empty carton in there. Mmm, I don't like that. It gives me a sugar thick, you know? So what do you do? You get mad at your brother? Oh, no, 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 I got, I got a plan D here. Plan D. You always got to have a backup. So I take the regular white milk out of the refrigerator. So you get the regular white milk and you drink that instead of the chocolate. No, 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 no. I didn't say that. Well, you said you took the white milk out. Yeah, well, then I got to get the Hershey chocolate syrup out. And then I got to get a big spoon. And then I pour the milk all the way to the top, and then I get the spoon and uh, squirt the Hershey syrup in there, and then I take the big spoon and turn it real fast, real fast, real fast, back and forth, and mix it. And I watch this metamorphosis happen in my cup or glass or mug or whatever I got, and the white milk no longer is white, it becomes chocolate! <laughs> chocolate milk! I love chocolate, chocolate, chocolate milk. Yeah, but we're up here talking about a reflection. What does that have to do with um, spiritual things? Oh, well, you didn't tell me you had to be spiritual. You said you wanted me to talk about something. I'm going to bail you out here, Matthew. All right, go ahead. All right. There takes two ingredients to make the chocolate, right? Yeah, you got to have, well, you got to have syrup. Well, if you only had syrup, what would you have? I wouldn't have chocolate and milk. And if you only had milk and no syrup, what would you have? Well, I wouldn't have chocolate and milk. <laughs> so you need two ingredients. Yeah, you gotta have two things and then you get chocolate and milk. Well, that's like our relationship with God. It is? God likes chocolate and milk? <laughs> no, but to know God, to know the Father, you have to know the Son. Oh, I get it. To know the Father, you got to have the Son. How come? Because the two become one. Oh, just like chocolate and milk. Well, not exactly, but you got the idea. <laughs> All right, so the Father and the Son are one. Now, how do I get to know the Father? Well, you have to have the Bible, and you have to have the teacher. You got to have the Bible and the teacher. Oh, Sunday school teacher? No, no, no. You need the Holy Spirit as the teacher. Oh, the Holy Spirit. Okay, that's right. Jesus said when he went back up to heaven, he was going to send the Holy Spirit, the comfort there, to teach us. I gotcha. So you need the Bible and you need the Holy Spirit. Why do I need that? Because that's two, two things. The Bible and the Holy Spirit. See, the Holy Spirit teaches us the Bible. See, Followers of Jesus 
they want to have victory, right? I hope they want to have victory. If they don't want to have victory, then they're going to get their butt kicked, you know. <laughs> I don't like getting in butt kicking contests. No, no, no. I like to win. And we can win as Christians. But we have to follow Jesus' example. When Jesus was tempted in the wilderness, he used the word of God. Yep, so we got to use the word of God. Mm -hmm. So, but we can't understand it intellectually with our own mind. Yeah, I'm pretty smart fellow. You saying I'm a dummy? Do I look like a dummy? <laughs> well, we all fall short of the glory of God, but we cannot educationally just understand salvation. We can read it by education, but the Holy Spirit has to teach us. So we need two things, the Bible and the Holy Spirit. Okay, I got you. Why do I need two things though? Because Jesus said he was the way and the truth. That's right, he said he was the way and the truth, and he said thy word is truth. All right, I got you, I got you. So you gotta be a follower of Jesus, the faith, but you got to be a follower of the Word of God. Otherwise, you don't grow and you don't have victory. Amen. And where does it say you got to have victory? Well, it says that in the Bible, victory in Jesus. We sing it in church a lot of times. But 2 Timothy 3.16 says, what are you looking in these for? <laughs> I don't know that one. Uh, 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy. Oh, yeah, I know that one. All scriptures and star of God and profitable through teaching, through reproof, through correction, and through training in righteousness. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Selah. Think about that along with a glass of chocolate milk. Amen. <laughs>